Welcome to Renaissance Charge Videos. I'm Rick Friedrich. Today we're going to continue on with a short video on the loving paths idea. Um, this is going to be making the distinction between what is called a single body circuit, which I call a selfish circuit, and a many body circuit, which is more than one which I call a loving path. So we've already talked about this for a couple of years and we have a single loop circuit here that um, destroys the input um, source charge and therefore it is considered selfish. <laughs> I don't need to go over all those details because I've covered that in the main video. But here what we're going to look at is the difference between an AC circuit, and oscillator circuit of sorts. And here we have a resistive load and that's it. Here we have a spark gap, an arc, so we're going to look at the arc as a load. But here we have two arcs in the same amount of input. So we have effectively doubled the output here and that's what we want to look at today. So this is otherwise known as the Don Smith effect and he showed this in the last two videos on my channel here and people kind of didn't realize well before I show this I'm going to talk about this first people didn't realize what he was doing they didn't really appreciate what he was doing because I don't think they were either paying attention or um, I don't know <laughs> anyway the what we're going to look at here is what's called a violet ray device and what I have here is this is going to be our oscillator circuit and this is a battery hooked up to an inverter this is a 220 pure sine wave inverter and I'm going to drive this um, violet ray which is al not ultraviolet ray, but it's a violet color, and you can see what it looks like here. And I can turn the light off and show that. Just so you can see. So this is going to ground here. Now, the violet ray device is used for many years. Now it's considered by many people as a quack device, but others still use it for healing purposes and what have you. That's not the object of this video. But we're going to look at this as a load. Now I'm not going to bother with using this attachment. We'll just use a metal one here. And so this represents um, upwards of 10,000 volts and it is a single wire output going through a capacitor plate. This is a very thick dielectric material here. It's just plexiglass, copper, and aluminum on either side. So the idea here is just like this diagram. So in this case, we were just going to ground. And now what we're going to do, I'm going to put it down on this wooden table platform here because otherwise I can't really hold it with both my hands. I'll be able to hold this side. I can go up later on, but I'm going to start off like this. 
So the idea is that this plate is an insulator and um, we're going to have pulse DC or impulse um, coming out here going to ground. Um, but we'll look at the difference in the arcing with and without the other side um, as an additional load. So we have an arc here. So in here we just had one arc going to ground. And then we're going to do here without the ground. And then we'll do the ground as well. But we'll have a gap between um, on both sides. So the idea is that we're doubling the load. So you might not hear me very well. So I'll put this up here. But it's going to make some noise. So let's start off by looking at it. Now Don Smith had a better um, dielectric tester than this one. But I just thought I would show this because you can do this very easily. So what I want to do is try and create a focus. So you can see I'm only getting about, I can get up to about three quarter, but it's not very stable. So now what we want to look at I can go anywhere up here. So the input is not affected. By an additional output. So I can go up here, I can go up there. So, it doesn't have to be a long experiment. You can see Don Smith in the video doing that for quite a while. So the idea, again, is that you're doubling the output. Pretty simple. This is the very basic um, demonstration of this. This is not obviously what I would use as a load, but it's something that is easy to see. So a lot of very important over unity circuits depend upon this idea. And um, the capacitor is a really critical um, part in doing over unity free energy processes. So again, the idea is that we have um, usually several things going on, principles, what I call free energy principles. And um, usually there's several going on at the same time, not just one. Here I'm focusing in on, on um, well, one. I could consider that more than one of the principles, but I don't want to get into that. Um, now this is going to be a diagram on the new website. I haven't mentioned what it is yet because I'm still working on it. It may take me all summer to get that satisfactory to show you. But uh, the idea again is that we want to have more than one body. And so a body uh, is a kind of like a network, a single body is like a circuit loop, right? Where it, you have a source and you have a load and you have a circuit. And that's the way most people understand circuitry. Common ground, we looked at 
in the last video where we had um, two batteries or two one input a load as a motor and then another load electrical load so we have magnetic load and electrical load when normally there's only one or the other here what we're doing is looking at more of an AC circuit and we're looking at just another kind of example where we have the primary body here and the secondary here. Now they are um, influencing each other but we do not have a common ground. That's why I use the battery here. I'm not, I don't have a ground here where a, to this ground. Now you could go back to the same ground but this is the way Don showed it. So, so again this is part of the Tesla one wire shuttle circuit idea. Um, retro reflective concepts are involved in this. Um, not the focus of this video but, but if you understand Tesla's single wire circuits this is the bare bones but this is also incorporating the demonstration of Don Smith. Um, I think that covers it for today. Thanks for watching.